the OSCE Live Verification Challenge was about taking a new design, sight unseen from NVIDIA, and formally verifying it in 72 hours live at DAC. In three days, um, with a new design, hadn't been seen before, a very complex design, uh, skeptical to say the least. I'm here to meet that challenge. Yes, I'll be hunting bugs. That's what I do, that's what we do. But finding the bugs is not the only dimension to define success of any challenge or any project of this kind. Really following our verification methodology, that is plan, pre-verify, verify and debug. We will be doing the plan part as a first thing, that is on Sunday. The most important part is to get a good plan on Monday. And once we have that plan, we are sure of that we will be successful at the end of 72 hours. That's what I know and that's what excites me. Well, Sunday day one was when it all started at 5 p.m. We got the decryption key from NVIDIA. Uh, we used the key to open up the files. We saw the RTL files. We got the documentation. We got a couple of simulation waves and they left. So then we started the design. First step thing is to compile the design, see if everything is there or anything is amiss. And uh, an hour and a half later, sure enough, I mean, some files were missing. So that was what day one was about, is uh, getting over our initial setback about not having all the pieces of the design. Day two, Monday morning, it was all about planning. We wanted to come in and prioritize a list of checkers we can write for that day. It was really all about being in the trenches. We had to work around a lot of issues. We made mistakes in our test frame. Uh, we had typos and got the scripts wrong, got the reset signal wrong. Uh, lost uh, an hour or two for that because of that. It was a scary day because not sure. We were not sure whether we got in, took our something on that we really wanted to do because we didn't really know at that on that day what they're going to finish at the end because. Things were looking really dismal and uh, we did down in the trenches trying to figure out what to do and how to close it up. Day 3, Tuesday, I mean middle of the day we found a counterexample. Looked realistic, looked like a real problem. We dug into it, we uh, debugged it, went into a debug phase. We root caused it to a specific line in the RTL and when we changed the RTL line to what we thought the fix was, the end-to-end -end checker started passing. And sure enough, at 3.15 p.m. that day, we confirmed it was a real bug. We tweeted that and uh, we went from there. I mean, it was all um, golden from there. We went on to the next end-to-end -end checker. We found another bug by the end of the day, day three, Tuesday. And it was really cool. Pretty exciting day. Last day of challenge, we had a couple of options. We could go on, verify the right path, but we actually chose to do something different and ambitious. We built an x application app. Uh, which is completely, completely new because we wanted to try out something brand new on this design. We built an app from scratch and we, instead of verifying the right path, we try to prove that the design doesn't produce excess under any kind of case in its situations. And we found two bugs in the design. Uh, we found actually three failures. We had time to debug only two of them. We confirmed there were two bugs. And we ended up, we tied up all that, uh, I mean, wrote the readme files, built the tarball to give back to the customer, to NVIDIA. And uh, I mean, really called it today because it was for us I mean, it was uh, icing on the cake. Well we found four bugs uh, and one uh, unfinished uh, trace which is still being debugged. That's an exciting thing for me because it gives me more confidence and uh, I should be able to do better in future after this experience. When we first gave the design we, uh, we thought that hey this is well verified I don't think we can find bugs in three days but since it's OSCE, maybe there's a chance. And uh, indeed, uh, OSCE found real bugs in the design and uh, we're looking forward to investing more formal on the design uh, that OSCE got. I believe that something would come out of it, but uh, really what it's done is uh, that it's exceeded my expectations. End-to-end -end verification is extremely valuable for us. And, uh, we have very tight deadlines, we've got very aggressive schedules, you know, micro-architectures, very, you know, very detailed. So it's very hard to kind of come up with a comprehensive verification plan without actually understanding the, the microarchitecture. I think it's, it's a testament to the scale of uh, the verification guys. So it's uh, pretty phenomenal what you guys have been able to achieve. 
thought the ASCII challenge was a really great idea. It uh, showcases what the ASCII company is about and um, the services that they provide and the success that they uh, obtain. So if you can say, you know, I can verify this in this many days and now you say, no, I can do it in this many days, that's got a lot of value. That's got, you know, a lot of bang for the buck. I'm really excited to, to not only succeed at the verification challenge live at DAC, but also post DAC be useful in a real customer setting and on real design projects and and add value to the design which is going to be in, I mean, all your cell phones, tablets, wherever.